In this video tutorial I'm going to add a couple of effects here um, to show you how to manipulate these images in processing. So this is where we left off once we had loaded this um, one image, Too Cute Dog, into um, processing. Um, and in this example, um, I'm going to load in the two images in a slightly different way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to just delete the code. This is what we had before. I'm going to comment it out. Um, I'm going to make sure my screen size here is correct for my images. Um, and I'm also going to comment this out. So we're not going to use this IMG instance here of load image. But instead, um, down here, what we're going to do is um, I am going to, once again, comment this out. And I'm going to um, create an instance of the P image class and load the image all in one line. Um, using a little bit more compact compact type of code here. I'm going to say p image dog. So I'm going to instantiate an instance of it, call it dog, and at the same time I'm going to say load image. And the image I want to load is, of course, to cute dog dot jpeg this time I'll close the um, quotation marks and I'm also going to have an instance of p image called flower so you can call it whatever you want um, you can give the um, instance names and any name you want but I'm just going to call call it flower um, and this is going to be also load image only this time I'm going to use sunflower oh, always forget these quotation marks sunflower dot jpeg and once again this is assuming that you have added these files into your data folder going to say the background um, uh, is flower and then what I'm going to say is the image so I can now use this image function um, because I've, I've instantiated p image I can use the image function to set the um, coordinates here and I'm going to set the coordinates for dog 0, 0, um, and then I'm going to add a tint here. So I'm going to say tint, um, and remember that um, if we're using the these color functions for uh, color, um, they are red, green, blue. So the first number here for tint is going to be red, and I'm going to set that to zero. Um, the second is green. I'm going to set that also to zero, and I'm going to set blue to full, 255 bits here and so let's see what we've got. I'm going to run this and there we go we have a fully tinted blue dog. Okay so um, now the other thing we can do is we can actually add um, another piece of information that is going to change the opacity of the image. And of course you can experiment around with these different colors and different tints. But I'm gonna, if I add a fourth value in here, it's going to switch the opacity of um, the image dog, and I'm going to set the opacity to 100. 
and see what that does. Okay, so it's probably too much. Um, the dog is almost invisible here in this version. So let's try changing that a little bit. I'm going to set that to, uh, let's make it 150. Try that and run it. Yeah, still not a whole bunch. Let's try it a little stronger. I'll set 200 and run. There, you can see the dog a little bit more in there. And maybe if I bring up the colors a little bit here, add a little bit more, um, I'll say 150 on the green and 180 on the blue. So you can see we get different kind of levels of um, tint and um, opacity. So this is just a demonstration to show you how you can load in a couple of I images, um, work with uh, tint uh, and uh, opacity to get some different effects with your images.